It was a friend, but the word of God. Can I tell you something? Just like you were walking in something predestined, God, when he came in the spirit, moved on the face of the water, it was already predestined. When the Holy Ghost spoke, let there be light or light be, that work was already finished. God was only using his faith based on his own finished work to speak into existence what he already finished. Yeah. Uh, to bring things in order what it was already been finished. I'm helping you here to grow up. So even though that your plan for your life is predestined, once you know what it is, you got to use your words to bring it to fruition. Oh, God help me here right now. Here's one of the issues in church. We get a word of prophecy. And because maybe our faith is not strong enough. We don't take it and go home and bring it to fruition. We don't work on it. Am I here to be here together? And we complain because we are slothful. The Bible says, be not slothful with the father of them to faith and patience inherit the promises. So I'm trying to teach you to grow up. I am not called to church. I cannot do church. I'm trying to teach you to grow up. I want you to grow up and be a participant in your life. Your words is where all your power is. And when God reveals something to you, it is your responsibility to come and agree with Him with your words. The spirit of our faith is we also believe therefore speak. So you can't live by faith without speaking. And then we get tired, and we get weary, and then we say, give up. Why do you keep saying that? It's not working. Somebody can say amen. amen. When God is just setting you up for the next thing to come in your life. Yes. Come on now. Faith is the way God does things. Faith is the way of life in the kingdom. Listen, faith is always going to try you. Because when God makes you a promise, it's always something you can't do. Amen. Let me ask this question to you. How many of you have faith for what God spoke to you? Amen. How many of you say, okay, I, got, I have this word from God like Abraham, and be fully persuaded that if God said it, he's going to do it. Amen. Abraham said, I'm fully persuaded. What's that? He promised he's also able to perform. Can I testify as your preacher? I'm living strictly on faith. Amen. And I'm a total peace with it. I know that's the point. What I said to God was either I'm going to do this. See, what I did was, you know how we say you roll the dice? Can we just talk? Since I'm not preaching, I just made a decision. If I perish, I perish. Yes, yes. When my wife was in there negotiating, when I was negotiating with people, she wanted to ask all these questions. Where the money coming from? I said, baby. I have been serving God, doing what I believe He wants me to do for the last 15 years. So here it is. I'm going to put Him to the test of my faith. And if I got parents in the midst of that, then I know He will call me. But if He calls me, I can know what He did. He's going to honor my faith and I honor Him. So I'm going to step out in the deep and walk in this thing and watch God perform the only way to watch God perform what he promised when I know he's able to perform. I'm fully persuaded. See, I got to the point of the general of the I got tired of being normal and just walking out of enough. Yeah. I said, I'm going to try God. I'm going to trust God. I'm going to step up to something I know we can't afford. I'm going to just you all in I'm going to let God perform. He said, if I honor him with my faith, he'll honor my faith. So when I honor him like that, I'm going to write the check and watch him fill it. You think God will let me embarrass him? Must he know I love him? You think you really think he will let you embarrass him? The problem is with us in churches like clothes. We become too Americanized. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything doesn't make sense. Yes. Yes. What about what the bank account say? <laughs> and how the people ain't giving. True. But if I talk to me about it, if I was dependent on what the people do, I would have stopped coming here a long time ago. I'm trying to get something out of you for your own life. At some point, gentlemen, hear me. You have to make up your mind. I'm going to trust God with my entire life. Amen. Yes. That's it. Yes. Everything about me. Yes. Who I am and what I have, I'm going to trust Him with it. 
So whatever, can I ask you a question? What have you done for God this year? We're at the end of the year. I'm asking every one of you, what sacrifice have you made for God in anything? Okay. They got real quiet. What have you done in your fellowship relationship with God? You say, Lord, I love you this much. I believe you this much. I'm going to do this for you. You don't have to do that. All have to do with finance. But what have you done, though? I want you to thank yourself. What have you done this year as a sacrifice of yourself towards Him? Have you offered yourself a living sacrifice? Yes. Have you come to pray with the Lord? No. See, here's where I live, gentlemen. Love. If I perish, no. I perish. No. But I'm going to stand on God's promise no. as your leader. And I'm not going to be shaken. I'm not going to move. I'm going to stand. And what he say? And God performed and put me before you people when I stood here and told you the building was going to manifest itself. If he put me before these people and they give me a price for a billion, you think he can't pay it? Yes. 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 